peeps, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all right. Quarantine lockdown got me going crazy. But it's all right, because McDonald's opens again soon and I am dying for a watered down Coke. Their watered down like fizzy drinks are my favorite thing ever. I need to fill my veins with that sugary shit. So today I have a, um, a what's really in my bag video. I thought this was a good time to film this video because I haven't looked in my bag since the end of March and we're now in May. Because we've been on lockdown, I haven't gone out, I haven't looked in my bag, I've had no reason to go in my bag, I can't, can't spend any money. I'm going for like one walk a week at the moment and it's just around the block and I'm always in my pyjamas and I don't take my bag because because I go with my partner, he takes his, he takes his house keys, I just take my phone and I'm a dressing gown and that's it. So I thought this was a great time to see what's really in my bag. This feels so much heavier than I remember it being. I'm scared. <laughs> I think genuinely the last time I opened this bag was, was when I went to work on that Friday and I got into work and I was told, this is the last day we're gonna be at work. Pubs are shutting, restaurants are shutting. You're going home, you're going home early, love. It's like, oh, all right. So this is my bag. This is by Band. I got it for Christmas. Really cute, removable straps, all that jazz. Alton Towers pin on here. I had more pins and I fell off. And yes, I did get those like lockable pin lock things. I have one on this one and um, still fell off. And I have a little, I have a suit sprite. So I'm literally gonna undo the compartments of my bag and tip everything out on the floor and just go through it and embarrass myself because I am, I'm a hoarder. I'm a bag hoarder. I keep everything in my bag because you never know when you might need it. So let's let's um, tip this out and see. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh my God, things are flying everywhere. There is a lot of shit in here. Wow, okay, is that everything? Empty bag. We're gonna start off normal. First thing is my purse. I, I haven't looked in here actually in a, a little while. Do I have any money? Oh, I got a little bit of money. Oh, I got some pans. Oh, that'll be my taxi money because I got a lift home from work on my, my last day. So, oh, I got some 50Ps. I collect 50Ps for my granddad, um, or my nana's boyfriend, I should say, saucy. I collect 50Ps for him, so I have a few like that I'm saving to give him. Yeah, my donor card, my Tesco card, boots. Oh, you name it, I got it. My driving license, can't drive. This purse is by Band, and I've had it for years. It's so well made, it's filthy as fuck because my bag is as disgusting as I am. First thing back in the bag, purse with some money in. So I know what I'm doing with that four pound when, when lockdown's over, I'm going to Poundland. Next I have, um, oh, my umbrella. I was gonna go, oh, what's this? My little umbrella. I searched for so long to find a proper compact umbrella. I wanted a really, really small umbrella. Like this is like the size of my hand. Yes, it's just an umbrella. Back into my bag even though when I go outside again and I'll need this bag, it'll probably be summer and I won't need an umbrella. There's so much shit on my floor right now. Oh, my uh, my work key. I have a Disney villains lanyard, cause I'm cool. I'm not allowed to wear this at work. I have to wear a work one, but I defy the rules. And I bought this at Disneyland, it cost me 10 pound, yes. Well, it was obviously in euros, but like, but the currency conversion was 10 quid and I was so excited to buy it. And that, that I got to the till and she said it in euros and I stood there like, that's 10 pound. So I refuse not to wear it at work because it cost me so much money. But it has got all my favorite Disney villains on here. Although, because I'm working on Disney villain sleeve at the moment, well I will be when lockdown's gone, it doesn't have one of the villains that I am getting tattooed on me on it. Ooh. Beautiful, better keep that safe actually because I will be so much trouble if I lose that. Pads, pads. All the pa I'm pad lady, right? I can't use tampons because they make me uncomfortable. Pad lady, ladies, if you're ever on your period and you get stuck out with no pad in your bag, come see Boo Boo. I got you sorted. Unless I'm actually on my period myself and then I'm probably using it. Because you never know. Like, you might you might piss yourself and you're like, oh, if only I'd put a pad in. Like, I don't, I don't know. I just have to have two in my bag because you never know. What else? What else? <laughs> 
jingle shit. My headphones. I will never be outside without my headphones. I get like quite bad anxiety when I'm outside. So I will always, always have my headphones in. If you ever see me without my headphones in, it means I've forgotten them, I've left them at home. And I'm very anxious, so don't talk to me. <laughs> but if you do see me with my headphones in, don't talk to me either. I went out walk through town, I walked so fast, I'm in my own little world, I've got my music blaring, and I'm just, I go from A to B, or anxiety will get me, and I'll just go to A to home. Music keeps me calm, it keeps me chilled, it keeps me focused, so I will always, always have music on. Oh, my toilet kit, oh, there's another one. Who did I steal this one off? My access toilet keys, this one is mine, because I bought this one because someone stole mine, and I've, I've actually got two, so I don't know who I stole this one off. If I work with you and I stole your key, like, I still have it, and I will give it back to you when I go back to work. <laughs> I like this, I like putting stuff back in my bag. All this money, 60p, another pound! Pound has to go, oh, and the 50p. Put this all in my purse, like, ooh. Chuck it, I'll leave my purse out so I can put all this money in here. Ah, oh, Paddington Bear, 50p. That needs to go in my granddad's pile. Save that one. Nana's boyfriend, not granddad. Four pound, four pound. I never have money on me. I use my card for everything. I never have cash, but I have to get cash out for the taxi. I could just use my card, but I find they charge you more when you use card. Like they, char they add on like little bits without you noticing. And I know how much my taxi is to get from work home every day. So I make sure I've got the, the exact change because them taxi drivers be ripping you off, and they ain't ripping me off. I will sit in the back of your taxi and wait for that 5p change because that's the kind of person I am. And I refuse to give you that 5p. I refuse it, I refuse. What else we got? Oh, a little mirror. Beautiful monsters. Can I flip it without showing you my room? <gasps> oh, ring light. Disco, disco, disco. Oh, it's a key. What's this for? No idea, there is a key. Oh, I think that's for my friend's house. This is really like normal stuff so far. I can see some weird stuff. Should we do a weird thing? Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes. You. Oh, Tesco. Oh, it's business card for Ryan. Appointment card for a tattoo. Which is my next appointment, which is in a few days, which is not happening. That was to have my next character, but um, no. But it's not happening now because of lockdown. I'm really sad now. Okay. Powers the bee. Oh, a scratch card. How much did I win? <gasps> Come on, please be millions. Please be millions. Please be millions. I won four pound. Well, that's not bad, actually. Four quid. Two pound scratch card. That's all right, isn't it? That's all right. I will spend this on another scratch card. If I put that to the side, I'm gonna cash that bear boy. If I win money on a scratch card, I will put that all back into the scratch card. I, I'm just a scratch card addict. Oh, my keys. My, I have like loads of key rings and I only have one key on here. Oh, two keys. But the, the rest is just chains. <laughs> this key ring I have had for years. It was by a company called Roebuck, or oh, Roebuck. Do you remember them? They made these corset bags. It's, hot. it's held up well, man. It's not, it's just like a rubber corset. And I don't know, I don't even like it, but I refu I will never chuck it away because I've had it so long. I have lots of lots of like broken key rings on here. An angel wing. Where the fuck did that come from? But yeah, my house keys. And my Tesco, my Tesco scanner card. Every little helps. Bring everything close to me. Paper. Paper. Oh. Post office receipts. When are these from? First of April. <laughs> so if you bought something from me from, um, I don't know what this is for, Depop or a giveaway or something, from the first of April, it's been posted, bruv. Oh, I knew I had this in my bag. This is a um, an LOL that my daughter gave me. She got this for Christmas and um, I used to have my hair black and pink split like this and she got it for Christmas and she, she gave it to me basically and I just keep it in my bag. It's like a cute little reminder of her. Not that I'll ever forget her, but it's like, I'll, I could be having a really bad day at work and I can open my bag and I'll see this and it just, it reminds me of her. She said it looked like me. I wish I looked like that. She cute as fuck. Little studded bracelet. Girl, she on fire. I love this. I have a paracetamol. I am a paracetamol, as well as a pad lady, I'm a paracetamol lady. I've always got paracetamol on me. I get headaches all the time. Everything gives me a headache. Like, if it's too hot, I get a headache. It's too cold to get a headache. If I'm at work, I get a headache. If I'm, if I'm, I have headaches all the time. I, I really do suffer from them. I have always, always have paracetamol on me. My bag, my bag, my bag. I got this from Poundland. Watch this, right? Froggy, froggy. 
Misdirection. Oh, my phone's going off. Hallelujah. A little shopping bag with a lily pad on it. Yay. How do I fold it back up? Oh, that's it. I just scrunch it up and shove it back into the frog's skull. I love Poundland. Poundland is my favourite shop ever. But I'm always in Poundland. My friend is the manager of it as well, so I'm always in there chatting to him. Right, um... Oh, my septum ring. So this is the ring that I um, originally had in my septum when I got it pierced. When I got it pierced, Becky Boo put um, this ring in. I have actually a really fat septum and I went back a couple of days later and got the ring changed slightly bigger and she let me keep that one. And I've, I've still got it in my bag. Do I have any more jewelry? Oh, I do. Oh, my retainers. These look really gross. My piercing retainers which you can't really see. Keep these in my bag because I have um, laser hair removal on my face. I know, this be looking like full on crackhead Jason Momoa if I don't have laser hair removal. So I have PCOS and I have um, laser hair removal on my on my chin, Emma Hart Aesthetics, if you're a local, she's amazing. I have to take my jewelry out and I have to put uh, retainers in, little plastic bars. This hasn't happened, but she told me if the laser hits metal, you'll know about it. You'll know about it. But laser hair removal doesn't hurt, like, it kind of pinches. I've had laser tattoo removal a lot and I thought it was gonna feel like that But it really really doesn't if you're thinking about getting it done. Yes, it is quite pricey But in the long run I have noticed such a difference and I'm not like I don't wake up in the morning and shave my face And it just it gave me such a confidence boost when I started to see the results and I'm so so pleased So so pleased <sighs> Next thing this isn't very weird. I thought this was gonna be really strange. Vaseline. Oh my god, it's new! <gasps> new! I love Vaseline. I use this on my lips all the freaking time. Apparently not this one, because it's new. I have these all around my house. I have like one in every room. They're like 99p and they last forever. And they're just so freaking good at keeping my lips moist and soft. I get really, really dry lips and they get really uncomfortable and cracked. And this stuff is so freaking good! Paracetamol! <laughs> Panadol? I never buy brand paracetamol. How have I got these? Must have been Poundland. That felt really weird when I grabbed that. I wasn't quite sure what that was. Oh, I have. To, yes, I know. I know. I was like, what the? What is this? Yes, I know what it is because it says really freaking big on the front. Hand food. Hand food. Soap and Glory hand food. This. I wish you could smell this. This smells like a fruit salad, <sighs> and it's vegan, cruelty free too. So we love this. I got this from Boots and my hands get really, really dry after work. So when I work with, I actually had some and I put it on my hands and I was hooked. And I went and bought some and um, I it was like buy one, get one free. So I have one in my kitchen, which I use after I wash up. And then I keep one in my bag for after work. Oh, 20p. This 20p doesn't have a year on it. Oh yes, it does. Oh, another 50p. I'm starting to feel a bit like a millionaire with all these like pennies I'm finding. I wanna be a millionaire so fucking bad. God help you if I ever become a millionaire. I am the type of person that's gonna be like, I'll pay you a thousand pound right now to eat that dog poo on the floor. I'm constantly at work. I'm the weirdo that keeps asking people questions or like, would you rather? Who'd you rather sleep with, this person or that person? If I gave you ten, if I gave you a million pounds, do you think you'd shag your mum? I'm that weirdo and like, if I ever become a millionaire, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> sorry, you're seeing like the real me. I'm gonna be like, 100,000 pound, kiss your brother. Like full on snog him, you gonna do it? I mean, that's gross, but 100,000 pound and a lot of money, isn't it? <laughs> and if it was like there in front of you on a table, I'd be hot, I don't know. <laughs> this is just, welcome to Emily's channel. Oh, a straw, a straw. This is my mermaid straw. I always have this in my bag. Always. I wanted the Jeffree Star ones, but fuck to the off paying 20 pounds for four straws. This was like 99p off eBay. I can get 20 for the same amount as the Jeffree Star ones. They're the, the exact same, they just don't have Jeffree Star written on them. But who the fuck is gonna be like, sat in a Weatherspoons drinking from your store, straw and someone goes, oh, Jeffree Star straws. And I can bet you, you'll forget it. You'll leave this straw in your cocktail because you'll be too pissed to remember it. Ran over. I, I am an eco-conscious girl and I love my reusable straw. I am a massive, massive recycler too. Fun fact, I recycle absolutely everything. Every little bit of paper, everything. Ow, smack myself in the face. Save the planet one straw at a time. What's this? <gasps> 
and I thought I should show you that. I didn't realise that was in it. <laughs> My friend got me this for Christmas. I don't know if it works. No, it doesn't work. Right, so. It's just a lipstick. Just a lipstick. My friend got me this for Christmas because we had a conversation about masturbation and how it um how masturbation lifts your moods like i don't know if you guys are the same but sometimes when i'm feeling really really down or like not overly i'm not saying masturbation cures depression because it fucking doesn't otherwise i would be spongebob squarepants happiness right now but it certainly does for me anyway like lifts my mood orgasming releases endorphins it makes you slightly even like one percent happier and you'd you know can't deny it. So I was chatting to my friend over Christmas. She works in a call center and um, it's very stressful. And she was like, well, sometimes I just pop to the toilet and have a quick wank. And I was like, how the fuck do you do that? Cause I can't, uh, wait, <laughs> off topic. I can't without anything, like I need something to, to, to come basically. And um, and she was like, oh my God, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you this. Cause I lose her lipstick. Look like everyone think of lipstick. So you just go into, you just go into the toilets to put your lipstick on. And then she got me, <laughs> she got me one for Christmas. I haven't used it. I think that's why it doesn't work because there's no battery in it. So it might actually be like really powerful. Sad. Have a wank. I always say this. I mean, it does look like a lipstick, doesn't it? Like, red's not really my colour. <laughs> not these lips anyway. <laughs> what batteries does it take? <laughs> oh, that's good. Hand sanitizer. I mean, it hasn't been used, but you know, I am filthy. Remember when hand sanitizer was like the. It was sold out everywhere when this virus first, like, people started taking it seriously i went to poundland to see my friend and get some and um there was like two left on the shelf and i ran and she tried to take two and i i saw her saw her with my beady eyes and i literally like ran and just grabbed it and i think i even went yoink <laughs> i always do that work um if i'm going around and like collecting glasses in my job and i'll just grab them while you're not looking lean over your shoulder grab the glasses and go yoink my hand smell Lovely, what is this? Floral and fruity. Yes, because that's what you want, isn't it? Flowery fruit. Smell like roses. Smell like strawberries. Or smell like a fucking cornucopia. I mean, it's not bad, I'm not saying it's bad. It's just, it's just weird. <laughs> I've only got boring stuff left now. My bank card. I'm not gonna show you my bank card, obviously. But, oh, I can't show you. Um, my bank card has a picture of me and Ben on it. We have our faces painted. We went to Chessington. If there's face painting, I'm getting it done. Like I will race my child to get my face painted. It's just something I love to do. I love, I love it. It's that side of me that never grows up. I think part of you should always stay young forever. Like you should never fully grow up. And that part in me is, is getting my face painted. I can't show you. I don't really want to be the victim of hard fraud, but it's a really cool picture. Me portable charger. I'm just looking for this. And it's got one of me stickers on it. Emily Boo. They're my Patreon stickers. So if you want one, join my Patreon. Oh, I think I've got some on my Depop. Shameless plug. I think there's some old ones on my Depop. At Emily Boo Boo. Lipst. I'm fucking looking for this as well. This is my, um, my favorite everyday lipstick shade. Cause I'm only getting dressed to film videos. I, I am in, I'm, I'm a slob. I, I'm spending every day of lockdown in my pajamas doing nothing aside from my morning Joe Wicks workout. I only get dressed to film videos and I was looking for this. This is my favorite shade in the whole freaking world. It's Jeffree Star Scorpio. I think it goes with so many skin tones. It's so versatile. It's like a dead color. That's how I can describe it. Like I imagine my lips would go that color when I die. When in reality, they'll probably go this color, but I don't know, it's one of my favorites. But do not buy them from eBay, ladies and gentlemen. They are all fake. If you're in the UK, the only place to buy them is Beauty Bay. What is this? Oh, it's my eyebrow pencil. <laughs> Eyebrows are something I just cannot do. I don't even flip and try anymore. I just sit down at my makeup table, stare at myself for about five minutes thinking what an ugly prick I am, and then just draw some lines. It's actually really good. It's not amazing. It's good if you've got natural brows. So I use this a couple of months ago when I was going for like a softer, natural look. But now I'm kind of losing a little bit of weight and it's making me feel so much more confident. And I, um, f fuck natural brows. I want weird Frankenstein's monster Maleficent brows. Okay, last thing is my lifesaver. Some Shoal Instant Waterproof Blister Pack. How do I open this? 
These are my, um, oh, oh, there's body jewellery in there. I haven't had black jewellery in a long time. In here, I have a secret stash of plasters, really old, disgusting plasters that are really old, and blister plasters. So these are what come, come in this. Well, it's like a fiver, I think. I mean, it was a long time ago. What is wrong with me? I mean, it was a long time ago I got it. These little shoal blister plasters are so freaking good. I am notorious for not wearing my shoes in. I will get a new pair of shoes and then I will do like a two mile walk, do the school run, go, go, go to work, wearing these brand new, I did it with my Doc Martens. I bought the, I bought some soft sole Doc Martens, like the ones with the really bendy toes. And I completely, forgot that DMs are the devil's doorbell to break in and I wore them to work and I was like 10 minutes from my house and I was like yeah blister central I don't know why I didn't remember that DMs new DMs give you blisters why am I such an idiot and I went to boots and I bought these the blisters were like the size of my I was gonna say my bum hole my bum hole isn't that big I can't think what this is the size of the blisters were massive anyway and I um and I just I bought these the blistery things and they literally just stopped the pain they're so cushioned they're really really good I still don't wear new shoes in I'm just I'm just an idiot put all my shit back in my bag it wasn't too weird to be purse up gotta protect those 50 p's I'm upset I don't have any salad cream in my bag but I used the last one when I was at work on my last day because I steal it from work I refuse to buy salad cream and I used my last one up when I was at work and then I left it there so I have no salad cream I've usually always got that in my bag but this time I've just got vibrators a pharmacy of paracetamol and a child's doll so what's the weirdest thing you have in your bag do any of you carry vibrators in your bag like it can't just be me I mean I haven't used it but I'm definitely gonna go and change that battery. You never know. Like, you might be just walking through town one day. Motionless and white might come on your face. <laughs> your headphones. Your headphones. And you might just get horny and want to pop to the toilets and um, put your lipstick on. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. That's it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. What is the weirdest thing you have in your bag? If you're a YouTuber, I'd love to see you do this tag. Especially during quarantine, because... I haven't checked my bag since March. It was interesting to see. And I found some stuff I, for I had forgotten about. So that's it, boobies. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you very soon with another video. Much love, boobs. Take care of yourself. And most of all, stay weird.